In this video, I'm going to go over a basic efficiency problem. Okay, so uh, our efficiency equation here, here's our, what I like to call the efficiency triangle right here. Okay, and so this is a, it's sort of a mnemonic um, to help you remember the efficiency equation. So output equals efficiency times input. That's why efficiency and input are next to each other, efficiency times input. Efficiency is output over, so you have this line over input, so it's output over input, and that means that input is output over efficiency. Input is output over efficiency, okay? All right, so let's use those uh, equations and figure out our problem. So in this case, we have a 90% efficient natural gas furnace. We need 100 mm BTUs to heat the home. And we want to know how many CCFs of gas do we need to heat the home. And we will assume there are 103,000 BTUs per CCF. Okay, so we know this is our output here. We know our efficiency, so we need to know our input. So let's write down what we know. We know that efficiency is 90%. We know that output required is 100 mm BTU. And we need to know the input. So let's start with our equation. Our input equation is output over efficiency. Let's, uh, our output is a 100 mmBTU, um, and using our knowledge of metric prefixes, we know that that's 100 times 10 to the sixth BTU. So let's just plug and play here. So 100 times 10 to the sixth BTU divided by the efficiency, which is 90%, which is 0 0.90, and that gives you an answer of one 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 BTU. So let's just call this one hundred and eleven mm BTU. So that is our required input. So that's input. Okay, but remember we want to know how many CCFs of natural gas we need. So all we need to do here is convert this to CCF. So here's our conversion factor, 103,000 BTUs per CCF. Simple factor analysis problem here. So we have um, 111 times 10 to the 6 BTU. OK, try that again. And then we're going to convert this. And we know our conversion factor is 1 CCF equals 103,000 BTUs, and that gives us a total of, that's going to give us 1,078 CCFs of natural gas. So if we know we need that much heat, and we know how efficient our furnace is, we can tell the input, and then ultimately we can tell that we need a little over 1,000 CCFs. Now we could easily convert that to cost. Let's say it's $1.50 a CCF. We can multiply that times 1.5. Um, but that is how you um, can use your efficiency equation to calculate the necessary input given an output and an efficiency.